Good morning. Today we're going to read Psalm 75 through 77. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks. For that thy name is near thy wondrous works, declare. When I shall receive the congregation, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it. Salah. I said unto the fools, Deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, lift not up the horn. Lift up, lift up not, lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge, he putteth down one, and setteth up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth, shall wring shall ring them out, and drink them. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Psalm 76 in Judah is God known, his name is great in Israel. In Salem also in his tabernacle, and his dwelling place in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword, and the battle. Salah. Thou art more glorious and ex excellent in the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep, and none of the men of might have found their hands. At thy rebuke, O God Jacob, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and horse are cast into a dead sleep. Thou, even though, art to be feared, and who may stand in thy sight when once thou art angry? Thou didst cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still. When God arose to judgment to save all the meek of the earth, Salah, Surely the wrath of man shall praise thee. The remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. Vow and pay unto the Lord your God. Let all that be round about him bring presents unto him that ought to be feared. He shall cut off the spirit of princes. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. Psalm 77 I cried unto God with my voice, and even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. <clears throat> in the day of my trouble I sought the Lord. My sore ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Salah. Thou holdest mine eyes waking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and and my spirit made and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever, and will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Doth his promise fail forevermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Salah. And I said, This is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Salah. The waters saw thee, O God. The waters saw thee, and they were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Thine arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings light lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. The way is in the sea, and thy path is 
and thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. Thou leddest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. So those were uh, Psalms 75 through 77 out of the Word of God, Holy Bible. And uh, I wanted to share some other verses out of the New Testament. This is from, these are all from Romans. Romans 3, 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And then Romans 5, 8. But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10, verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And Romans 10.13 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. These, these are verses um, of encouragement and hope. And if you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, if you haven't put your faith in Him, um, I encourage you to do it today. One day, you're going to die. I'm going to die. And when we die, it doesn't just all end. There is an afterlife. And where we spend that, where we will spend eternity, um, is up to you. It's up to us. We can, we can choose to believe and put our faith in God and in His Son. Or we can choose not to. Uh, it's not God's will that you choose not to. It's God's will that you choose to believe that He loves you so much that He sent His one and only Son that if you believe in Him, you will not perish, but you'll have eternal life. Our sin has separated us from God. God is holy, and our sin, we all have sin. We've all, you know, just like the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. And that's why God sent His Son. Jesus was perfect. He never sinned. And He, he chose to obey His Heavenly Father and allowed Himself to be crucified. And through that sacrifice, it was a painful, horrible death, but... What the good news is, is after he died, three days later, he rose from the dead. He resurrected with a new body. And when we put our faith in that and believe that and ask Jesus to be Lord of our life and to be um, our Savior and to let him, just ask him into your heart and repent of your sin. When we put our faith in, in God and in his Son, then we become born again. If you read John 3... You can read about what it means to be born again, born from above, spiritually born. And um, this is something we all need to consider because if we don't, we've rejected God. If we don't choose God, if we don't choose Jesus, we've rejected Him. And we have, uh, the destiny is eternal hell, separation from God the Father. So, prepare for eternity. I mean, we don't know when the end of our days will come, this on earth. And uh, I just want to encourage you that you consider these things and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of your Son, that he came to save us from our sin. And we thank you for the cross, and we thank you for the resurrection. Be glorified through each of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great day and make the right choice.